good evening. Scientists in Birmingham are developing a breath test which could help detect liver failure in patients. Liver disease is the fifth big killer in England and Wales, but the only one which is increasing year on year. It affects around two million people in the UK. But now the presence of a chemical found in citrus peel in someone's breath could one day help doctors pick up cases sooner. Our science correspondent, David Gregory Kumar, has been following developments. He's at the University of Birmingham for us now. So would early diagnosis save lives, David? It could well do, Nick, and that's because at the moment when people are diagnosed with a liver disease, cirrhosis of the liver, it can happen quite late on. And people do change their behaviours. Classically, they give up drinking, for example, but actually the damage can be really advanced and then really your only hope is a transplant. So with early diagnosis, well, then you'd be able to get people to stop drinking, say, much earlier on. And the liver's an amazing organ. It could start to recover, and that might mean you wouldn't need a transplant at all. So it's a really exciting new development. At the University of Birmingham, a breakthrough breath test, which should tell me how my liver is doing. It's quick and simple, and it can spot liver problems very early on. And that's key. It gives patients a chance to change their behaviour and stop damaging their livers. Jill changed her behaviour, but like many liver patients, only after a diagnosis that came too late. Now her best option is a transplant. You don't know how much damage you can actually do to your liver and the function of what your liver does in your body is unbelievable it's so vital I mean apart from your heart which will stop it's like it's the daddy of organs and um, putting it bluntly and I've destroyed it. What we are hoping to develop is a test that can pick up early markers of or, or markers of early liver damage and um, and, and so we can confidently say to our patients, look, you are causing damage to your liver. This is likely to be progressive given your story. And we would suggest, we would recommend that you make some alterations in your lifestyle. Now, this is the chemical the test is looking for. It's called limonene. It's found in food, particularly lemons. Now, normally your liver will break this down, no problems at all. But if your liver isn't working, that doesn't happen. It hangs around in the body. Now, this is a real analysis of the breath of a real patient. There's lots of chemicals in there, but there's two spikes here and here. That's the limonene, and it's there because it's not being broken down, because this patient's liver isn't working. But the researchers wanted to be sure that the presence of limonene was a sign of liver problems. It might just be a coincidence. So they worked closely with the QE hospital and focused their work on liver transplant patients. So in order to really pin it down to the liver and be absolutely sure, if you take a person before with an unhealthy liver and then after transplant when they've got a new healthy liver, you've got the same person, same diet, they're still not very well, but the liver's healthy now, then you can be sure that that's really to do with the disease. So in the future, patients like Jill can make the same positive choices, but much earlier on. You know, in the early days, the researchers thought they were detecting the perfume of patients when they found the limonene. They thought it was a mistake, but now they know it's real and it's an indicator of a problem with your liver. When might you see a machine in your GP surgery to detect problems with your liver like this? Well, there's a lot of testing that has to be done, more research, but within a decade, perhaps, your GP could be asking you to breathe into a box to test for your limonene and to see how your liver's doing. Thank you, David.